guys, it's Amy and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Let's Play. In the last episode, we got rid of, well, we didn't get rid of, <laughs> the two teenage boys moved out. Well, they actually grew up into adults and they moved out into their own little apartment downtown. Um, and reading your comments, you guys said it's about time that Poppy aged up to be a teenager and Kevin as well. So I think we're going to do that right now. Uh, we also do need to decorate the uh, twins' bedroom. Uh, we've got two twin girls that are, uh, well, we think that they're probably vampires. So we do need to do uh, their room. But first, let us, uh, let us, uh, <laughs> let us uh, make a cake for Poppy and Kevin. And get them aged up into teenagers. Wait, what was that? Leo is wondering if uh, I want to come on over. I can't right now, my little son. I'm aging up the others. Uh, so let's go on to cook and let's bake ourselves a cake. Okay, so the cake is now ready. So we're going to go ahead and get Poppy, the crazy gooseberry, to blow out the candles. If you didn't know, Poppy was um, adopted, but she has the insane trait. So she is utterly bonkers. And here she goes. She has now aged up. Okay, so she is now a teenager. So we need to pick her an aspiration. Now, because she is crazy, we want to give her some of the insane stuff. I mean, look, she already has the insane trait. Um, But what would... Uh, what does Poppy uh, say to me about everything in the world? I mean, she's very lovable. She's very jealous at times. Uh, maybe she's all into nature. I think, yeah, let's give her some nature. Um, she's not all about the fishing. She just likes to be outside um, and chilling. Yeah, let's give her an outside or outdoor enthusiast. Great. And then we need to pick her another uh, thingy. Um, she could be a cheerful, insane person. She could be a romantic, insane person. Oh, what else could we do? We could give her another Loves Outdoors, but that's kind of boring. Maybe she's a kleptomaniac. Maybe she keeps stealing things. I don't think she's mean, and I don't think she's evil, but maybe she could be... Um, what is this? These Sims love being in clubs and tend to be happiest when surrounded by their friends. I don't think that's quite poppy. Um, maybe she's a dance machine. <laughs> well, she could be a crazy dance machine. I like it. All right, poppy. Let's have a little look at you. Oh, poppy. You're so crazy. All right, let's change um, her outfits and stuff and make her look more like the poppy that we know today. All right, poppy, come over here and let's plan your outfit. Oh my goodness, you can flirt with yourself. Okay, we need to do that first. We need to see what that's all about. All right, Poppy. Come over here, you crazy gooseberry. Here she comes. She's actually flirting with herself. She is absolutely crazy and bonkers. <laughs> 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 what is she doing? I'm so confused with her life. I love her. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and change her outfit. Hey, Poppy, you absolute mentalist. Right, okay, so what does Poppy... Uh, what would she wear, do you guys think? See, part of me thinks that she would wear something um, crazy because uh, she is Poppy. So is there, like, um, some crazy... Ooh, this is kind of weird but not weird enough. Like, some kind of crazy outfit. Ooh, badges. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> um, like, is there a onesie she could wear constantly? I don't know. Let's just have a little peek. Oh, she could wear a Christmas sweater all year round. Um, no, I don't want to make her stupidly crazy. I still want her to be uh, looking cool. Um, so hopefully an outfit will pop out uh, for us. Oh my goodness, this is exactly what I would wear in real life. Although not the t-shirt, but the, the jeans and the tie around flannel thing. I dig it. Alright, so now we need to find her uh, a top to wear. Oh, the crazy clown. Down. Happy shoes! I kind of want to give her those. Um, oh, the witch shoes. I love the witchy shoes. Oh, the clown shoes are amazing. Um, but we're probably going to go quite boring and go with the usual thing that we do and go with some bands wherever they are. Oh, guys. There's the avocado bear. Oh, my God. Oh, oh she's gone naked. Oh, I really love the avocado bear. Maybe she uh, could always wear the avocado bear. I don't know. I kind of feel like she is kind of like an avocado kind uh -huh. of person and this is just the creepiest thing ever i mean hello how do you do oh i don't know i kind of want the avocado bear as my daughter i mean she is absolutely crazy what if uh what if she slept in the avocado bear outfit i think that's a great idea <laughs> let's get rid of this uh there we go all right now you can sleep in the oh. avocado bear on this different ones oh my goodness there's a pineapple bear but i really like the avocado one best all right cool so we've got a sleepy outfit let's go back to the outfit that we picked before um and then we'll be done with uh poppy all right what do you guys think is 
is that crazy poppy i think it is all right so let's go i was gonna say let's go ahead and submit this like it was a robux design it but it's not so we just get to save it instead all right so we've got everything all sorted crazy poppy is being the crazy avocado bear and is flirting with herself because she is utterly bonkers so we should probably let her sleep uh, but we do need to change her bedroom because this is totally um like you know a little girly bedroom and now she is a big teenager <gasps> what's happening to my children we also do need to age up kevin as well but i think i'm gonna concentrate on doing poppy's bedroom and making it a little bit more better and also the twin girls as well well with poppy's room we didn't actually change all that much uh we just kind of added a few more details so as you can see we've got a nice pile of clothes on the floor we've added some childhood toys in the journal and some makeup bits and bobs like that can we put these books anywhere actually a little different maybe we can put these uh nail polishes somewhere um no okay so this lamp here uh can't really go actually it can go there okay that's well all right so let's go and do the other rooms Okay, so we've done the twin girls' rooms. We've added, like, a tiny little gothic effect because we still don't know. I mean, we're pretty sure that they're vampires, but we are not 100%. So this toddler room can be redone. We've still got Kevin's room to do once we've aged him up, but maybe we'll just keep him as a kid for a little while longer. Let's get everyone to sleep so they can have a good day tomorrow, right? Come along, twins. You get to bed. Uh, Poppy, you crazy avocado bear. You can sleep here. And Amy and Josh. Oh, who's in my bed? <laughs> I feel like I'm like one of those like three bears or something. Who's sleeping in my bed? Uh, we're going to sleep over here. I think Amy and Josh really need a nice day together tomorrow or something. Because they have been... A little bit, I can't even speak now, Byron. They have been through a crazy uh, few weeks, haven't they? I mean, Amy cheated on Josh. She fell pregnant. Not only that, the babies are vampire babies. I mean, it's crazy. And then the two teenage boys have moved out. My first firstborn babies have gone and now they're big adults and everything is changing uh so yeah i think amy and josh need a nice day together tomorrow 
Okay, so it's 5 a.m. and everyone has pretty much woke themselves up with going to the bathroom and doing, well, I don't even know, doing all kind of things. Um, who's feeling focused? I can't uh, tell the difference. It's Willow. Willow Lee is feeling focused. Right, Jamie, now you don't have any more uh, terrible toddlers to care for. Why don't we cook everyone a lovely breakfast? Why don't we cook them all some eggs, Benedict? I'm actually really looking forward to play in this game again without any badness, any stressful times, because caring for those kids, I mean, jeez, that was so difficult. Uh, let's get everyone showered as well. Where is Poppy? How are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Bobby, you're crazy! You're so, so crazy! How are my twins doing? They're kind of laughing at Poppy. Don't laugh at her, guys. Uh, she can't help it, right? So let's get the twins up and ready for their day. Let's get them having showers um, and then getting on with some schoolwork. Kevin, uh, how are you doing, buddy? Do you want to go downstairs and have a shower down here? Um, and obviously use their facilities. Good boy, Kevin. All right, so everyone seems to be settling back into a normal routine pretty well. Amy, are you stinky or is it the food that's stinky? I don't know. Look at her face. <laughs> Help me! Uh, you guys in the comments are always saying, did you know you have it downstairs? I do. I do know that I have a basement room. I just haven't needed to uh, use it all that often. But hey, maybe I should be a famous painter because look at this. This is a great little workshop. All right, Amy, you can come down here actually and take a shower. Um, and we can use the facility downstairs and then let's get the kids oh no that was poppy oh cry mini uh we'll get the kids uh on with their homework so amy i'd like you to do that and kids get on with your schoolwork how you doing crazy lady are you okay poppy you're good you're good in the hood nothing going on no voices in your head today good job all right daddy josh let's get you ready for the day what kind of time it's like oh it's only like 9 40 i thought it's a lot later than that let's repair the shower um, and then you can, uh, you know, use it and all that kind of jazz. Okay, Amy. Amy's feeling tense. What's up, Petal? Oh, you know what I think Amy needs? I think Amy is missing her firstborn children. I think we need to ring Skylar and Leo and not get their names mixed up this time. Um, and see her boys. So let's call Skylar and let's call... Where's Leo? 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 Where, where the heck you pack is Leo at? Leo! Where's my boy? Wait, where is my son? Leo! I don't know where he is! Uh, right, well let's call Skylar and then maybe Daddy can call Leo. Huh, okay, maybe uh, Leo is at work uh, since he is now a police officer, which we are going to explore with later in another episode. But let's see, Skylar. I miss my boy. Oh, wait, look. Leo is right there. All right, I dig it. Leo, my little boy. Look at you. You're a big boy now. Okay, let's give uh, Leo a huggle. Uh, let's hug lovingly. My son, my lovely son. Uh, so where's Skylar then? Is Skylar going to come over? Or have I got all their names confused? No, there's Skylar. Skylar, he's just walking on in. Go and hug your son, my boy. Oh, that's so cute. It's like we're having a family reunion. Let's go hug Skylar as well. Um, can I, uh, uh, can I hug you lovingly, my son? I don't know. Uh, friendly. <laughs> can I ask you to move back in? I miss my son. Um, is there no hug lovingly? What's wrong? Uh, hug lovingly. All right, digging it. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this episode of The Sims 4 Let's Play. It's super fun. Now the Todders have grown up, things are a lot more easier, and I really love it. Um, in the next episode, we are going to live as uh, the young adults uh, Skylar <laughs> and Leo. We're going to see how many times I get their names uh, mixed up, which will be super fun. We're going to go to work with Leo as a police officer and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be really, really cool. So yeah, tune in for that one. Don't forget, I love you guys much. Lee. Have a good rest of the week. Uh, don't forget to check out the link in the description if you would like yourself an autographed uh, official Amy 33 poster. And there's even more. There's like wristbands and everything. Thing. <laughs> I love you guys much, Lee. Goodbye.